Well, the appreciation for a farm runs deep and keeping that soil in top condition so that it can work for us and with us is very similar to investment that you see working for you day in and day out when you're sleeping. Soil's doing that same thing. My name is Brent Budrow. I grew up in Fowler, Indiana on a family farm. I have a son, Booth, and wife, Kelsey, and we reside just south of Otterburn. And we enjoy living in the rural area and working on a family farm. Also work with farmers in the local area with Budrow Ag, helping them maximize their acres and their profitability. So I went to Purdue and majored in Ag Business Management. I've always had that entrepreneurial spirit to see a need, fill a need. And at Budro Ag, that's what we do. Um, we sell seed for channel seed corn, and we also sell cover crops. That's been a great add-on because it definitely goes with our story and what we're trying to do, that long-term look. Trying new things on the farm is fun because you can you can sometimes practice before you preach and, and learn a little bit along the way. And my grandpa farm, my grandpa's grandpa farm, and now my dad is the primary farmer, and um, I'm helping him, we're farming together and having a lot of fun. It's a family affair, and, and that's the one of the neat things of farming and agriculture is, is that feel. We do seed beans, we do yellow dent corn, and then we also do um, a little bit of popcorn as well. You know, we're a good team. We work well together. He's a very detailed person, and I'm very big picture, and so we work very well together. Um, it's a good experience. My mom, she's she's retired, and she's actually full-time on the farm as well. And so it's a, like I said, it's a family affair. I hope I can learn everything that uh, my dad knows, be able to carry on that tradition. And he does a good job of continuing and improvement. So he was one of the first to really get going in that cover crop world and continuing to use no-till to then pass on that land to the next generation. You know, what excites me the most is having a son and seeing him out there enjoying the farm and enjoying every piece of that. And then thinking long-term, what could the potential be on these acres? You know, looking at the family farm, it's looking at the history of previous years that are still around grandparents that come around during fall harvest. And it's also looking ahead to the future about your kids and passing on that trade. One of the things I enjoy is just being out in nature. So joy pheasant, waterfowl hunting, and. Part of optimizing some of our acres is optimizing them for that. Creating a lot of pheasant habitat and deer habitat, and, you know, that's been a passion as well, is trying to repopulate Benton County. Back in the day, well known for pheasant hunting across the countryside, trying to uh, bring that back. Whether that's making current CRP filter strips and waterways better, managing current programs, so that's a big part of what we're doing. And then looking at ways to improve other areas, so maybe there's a ditch that's starting to run wide, how do we, you know, prevent that from going wider. So adding more filter strips in the future is definitely something that we're looking at doing as well. And uh, you know, then there's the food plot side of it too. So planting sorghum or this year mowing down some tall grasses and planting oats and radishes and alfalfa and pathways and clover and, and different cover crop mixes throughout the farm to give uh, them a reason to stick around and, and want to hang out in our area. I do believe that hunters are some of the biggest conservationists out there. Not only do we enjoy, you know, hunting, but we also enjoy making the habitat and making it a better place for, for these animals to thrive. If you were to add up all the hours just spent in this physical location of this field, that's where the passion and the value of lands come from. Whether it's fixing fence lines, picking up rocks, or little things, learning the land, where the water runs, how it runs, how the soil types work together and then how to optimize that land. The passions come from spending time there on that land and working together with mother nature and working together with the land to produce a living.